What's good, Fight Fans? It's your boy Timmy's the best, and I'm back with another episode of Punch Drunk 412. And it's getting interesting in the fight world. Very interesting, yo. It has been speculated, and you know, I think this might be true that Terrence Bud Crawford could possibly be moving up to 154 to fight the winner of the Jamal Charlo Brian Castano fight. But if you like content like this, hit the like, comment down, comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe. Now let's get into it. Three division weight class superstar boxer and the current WBO welterweight champion Terrence Bud Crawford is tired of the runaround. He's tired of the games. He's tired of the speculation. He's tired of people saying he ain't, he ain't no draw. He's tired of motherfuckers making excuses. So he's on some shit like, you know what, man? If I can't get Errol Spence, I don't want nobody else but Errol Spence. If I can't get Errol Spence, I'm moving up to 154. Hmm. To fight Brian Castano or Jamel Charlo. Whoever wins those two, he's going to petition the WBO. To, to fight the winner of the Char of the Charlo Castano fight. That's a great idea and that's super interesting. And you know what else makes sense in that decision? You know what else really makes sense if Bud do actually move up to 154? Because it's not set in stone, but it was reported by Bernie the Boxer, who is very close to Terrence Bud Crawford. So I take what it you know. Sometimes Bernie be going off the rails a little bit, but when they, when they say stuff like this, yeah, bro. I'll take I'll take it. I'll take I'll say that's that's credible. But anyway, uh I, I like that idea. I like that plan of moving up to 154. Like, because they, they bullshitting around with Spence at 147. But the funny thing is this. If Terrence Bud Crawford was to move up to 154 and he do get the Castano Jamel Charlo winner, if that was to happen and he was to beat Jamel Charlo, guess who all holds all the cards now? Errol Spence ain't going to be able to talk that 50 40 split. None of that shit because now Terrence Crawford will be undisputed in two weight classes. Beat Jamel Charlo, who was a better op opponent than uh, Spence ever faced. Now, y'all going to be talking 50 50 now? Huh? Are y'all still going to be giving me the run around? Because we all know. That's why I think this is why Bud's moving up. Because we all know. Soon as Spence beat Ugas, or if Spence beats Ugas, he's not going to fight Bud. I've been seeing this fucking bullshit coming. He's going to move up to 154 anyway. He's going to move up to 154 anyway. So why not be up there waiting for him with all the belts? Yeah, bud. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. These motherfuckers are trying to outsmart you. Outsmart these bums back. Because we all know bud is going through the lawsuit right now with Bob Arum. And when you piss off these promoters, these motherfuckers will try to freeze you out. Fuck all the bullshit. Move on up and be waiting for him when he get there. No more running, Earl. And I ain't saying you running. Let me take that back. Because I don't think Earl Spencer's running. I think it's a lot to do with these promoters. But people saying Buzz not a big draw. They ain't got no money to pay him. This is the biggest fight in boxing. I'm tired of the excuses. He's tired of the excuses. And I'm sure all my fans that watch this show is tired of the fucking excuses. Like, comment, and subscribe. But like, like I said, Bud, move up to 154 and be waiting for Earl when you get up there. You're going to get him regardless. But that's all I got for today. It's Punch Drunk 412. Super exciting. Super exciting. Get, fuck the haters. Move on up, Bud. Do your thing, man. Stop. Fuck the politics is getting out of control now. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> but it's Punch Drunk 412. This is Timmy's the best. I'm Timmy's the best. More coming soon.